The man arrested following Monday's shootout with police was in court today. And it appears he's going to stay in jail despite his stepfather's funeral. Good evening, everyone. I'm Drew Hadwall. And I'm Cherry Key. Motion denied. Ralph Skipper Horton will not be able to attend Monday's funeral services for ste his stepfather, Dan Hunt. Our Lee Swindoll talked with accused murderer Ralph Norton this morning. He says Horton is deeply hurt by the ruling. Ralph Skipper Horton appeared in court for the fourth time this week. This appearance was to ask permission to attend his stepfather's funeral. I want to go to your dad's funeral, stepdad's funeral? Yes, ma'am. Judge Rupert Smith heard the motion made by Horton's attorney, Mark Orr. And Your Honor, I'm unaware of any legitimate reason to prevent my client from attending the funeral of his admitted stepfather, but for all practical purposes, it was his father. State Attorney Bruce Colton then told Judge Smith that the sheriff's number one fear is of Horton escaping. A person is facing charges as serious as these, and when the uh, amount of, of drugs involved is as great as these, there's reason to feel uh, that someone may try to help him escape. Sheriff Knowles is also afraid of endangering other lives. The sentiments are very high in this community. Police officers have been killed. Um, I was afraid that, that someone may try to strike back at Mr. Horton. And if that should happen, uh, certainly our police officers or our deputy sheriff stand the risk of being hurt and, and including uh, any bystanders that, that may be there. Judge Smith denied the motion, saying the court would be blind not to take the community into consideration, no matter if Horton is the trigger man or not. I feel that the judge made the, the proper ruling under the circumstances. There have been cases in the past where judges have allowed prisoners to attend funerals of family members, but not in a situation like this. Uh, the sheriff felt strongly, and, and so did I, that there would be a risk to the community. Horton seemed disappointed. He's very, very disappointed. He was hopeful he could get out and at least attend the funeral of the man who raised him. Unless another hearing like today's pops up, Ralph Skipper Horton remains in his solitary confinement jail cell. His next appearance will be Monday, January 26th before the St. Lucie County Grand Jury. Lee Swindoll, WTVX News. More late news from the crime scene. We're told investigators uncovered more evidence. They recovered an underground safe which is said to contain several thousand dollars in 20s, 50s, and 100s. They also found four more kilos of cocaine inside that safe. The number brings 42, the number of pounds of coke found on the Hunt property so far.